hashtag budget battle. And now as for the Affordable Care Act, it is intended to provide health coverage for millions of uninsured Americans. So tomorrow, open enrollment begins. Those shopping for coverage can log on to health exchanges. Coverage will begin on January 1st and open enrollment will continue until March 31st. Now who's covered? Anybody under 65 making $15,856 or less or a family earning less than $32,500 a year and individual taxpayers earning earning $45,960 or less, and families earning less than $94,200 may be eligible for financial assistance. There is, of course, still plenty of confusion mm -hmm. over all of this and costs, et cetera, right? Yes, CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger here now to explain some of the plans. At least we're going to try to make sense of all of this, right, Jill? Yeah, it's tough. Yeah, it sure is. First and foremost, what is the cost factor here? Here's what's really actually very difficult about this. It varies greatly depending on how much you make whether you're looking for individual or family coverage, how much coverage you want. There are 10 co companies that are offering coverage in New York. Four levels of coverage. Any individual can pay up to $900 a month for the highest level of coverage, the platinum coverage. The lowest level or the bronze coverage, that's around $300. There are tax credits available depending on your household income. And now, for example, let's just look at a couple from New Jersey that makes $50,000. Their premium for a silver plan run $395 a month. A couple making $100,000 will pay $520 a month. Now, you can spend less, you can spend more, depending on the coverage you want, but the bottom line is there are a lot of choices here and you've got to do your homework. And you've also got to sign up, right? Because you can't just blow this thing off. Well, here's the thing. If you are a U.S. citizen, you are going to actually have to have some form of health insurance coverage. If you don't, there will be a penalty. In 2014, it's $95 per uninsured adult in your household or 1% of the household income, whichever is greater. That's capped at 285 bucks. Now here's the deal. The fines are going up over the next couple of years. By 2016, we're looking at $695 per uninsured adult in the household. That's capped at $2,085 per household or 2.5% of household income. Okay, All right, Jill. Jill. Thanks for Thank breaking you. that down. And again, you can find it on our website, right? Absolutely. All right, okay. There will not be a quiz. <laughs> <laughs> the answers are all on the website. I'll be back for the extra credit. That's right. That's right. We'll, and a gold star, too. Every state has different options and different levels of coverage. You'll find all the information on your state at our website. And uh, as well as a link to enroll, go to CBSNewYork.com. Coming up for you right here at 5, a hero's homecoming. Hundreds of people live.